when I first started, I was down in South Georgia. And while I was in South Georgia, I seen this, uh, I was talking to this guy. We was down there picking up some, uh, who were we picking up some potatoes. So this guy had just went and bought a truck, just went and bought a trailer. And I was with Landstar, he had his own authority and everything. This dude went and bought a truck, went and bought a trailer, and I think he had about $10,000. Uh, he done, he done, he all in. So he done, he done got a deal on the truck, done got a deal on the trailer. He's like ten thousand dollars all in. Once he's ten thousand dollars all all in, uh, no. So he done went and bought a truck. He done went and bought a trailer, and he got ten thousand dollars left to his name. So he's like, man, this gotta work, you know. And but he didn't know what he was doing, you know. And something doing something like that will put you out of business because he had no contacts. He said his girl was going and, you know, dispatching him on the loads and stuff like that. But she had no contacts as well. She's learning and stuff. These cats don't have no type of instruction, no type of training. And I always tell people like this right here, before you even jump into business, go and sit up under somebody and get some, get some teaching. Go and get you a mentor so that you don't have to bump your head, bust your head to the white meat to do things that you don't even... To, you know, put yourself in positions and um, circumstances to where uh, you set yourself up to fail. <laughs> They'll go get them a truck, start them a trucking company, and they think that the only thing that they need is a truck and find out where they need to get their loads from. They don't even understand that they need compliance. They don't need. A, they don't even understand. They need certain stuff. Like I was talking to a dude. This dude was running. Didn't even have no insurance. Okay, running up under somebody. Didn't even have no insurance. And and that, that's crazy about itself. But so so you got a whole bunch of stuff that you have to have in place. And it's just not about having a truck, a trailer, and having a dispatcher and finding a load. It's a whole lot more to trucking than that. I'm not about to follow nobody or get advice from people. Well, you know, let me change that. I will get advice from certain people, but man, right, when you're talking about you've been in business for six months and now you're trying to teach me how to do business, like what? Like you hadn't even been in business long enough. For, for you to be able to teach me what I'm trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to avoid certain pitfalls. Now, you can't teach me how to avoid certain pitfalls, but for me, like, I'm trying to grow my business. You know, like, I want to hear from the experts, from somebody who actually been in here, and you done been in here for some seasons. You know, just not like, not one winter, not one summer. Like, you done been in here for a multiplicity of seasons, and you can, you can actually teach me something, but you just coming up here, now you want me to buy your course, now you want me to buy your your coaching or your mentorship. Why would I listen to you? You have, you have never been put in a situation to where you can, you ain't never been put in a situation to where you've been stuck and you gotta get out of there. You don't even have enough relationships to be able to tell me, hey look, go to this person right here, I know they know what they're talking about. You ain't got the relationships, you don't have the experience. And just because you got 10 trucks, just because you may have 20 trucks, just because you got a whole bunch of trucks don't mean that you know what you, exactly what you're doing. Because somebody who grow fast, and, you know, you can have money to grow, but that don't mean you got the wisdom or the knowledge or the experience to make me grow. 